Welcome to Psychology 200 Statistical Principles. This video is an introduction video designed to give you an overview of the course, an overview of the syllabus, the requirements of the course, the different assignments for the course, as well as um, some tips to be successful. Um, just real briefly, statistics and data analysis in general are really important skills in the emerging, emerging marketplace and job marketplace. Um, regardless of whether you use these in psychology uh, later on in your coursework, um, you might be asked to use a lot of these skills as you move into kind of uh, finding a job later on. So hopefully a lot of what you're going to learn here in this course is going to be directly applied to things that you're going to be doing later on in life. I think learning how to use spreadsheets and Google Sheets and, and doing data analysis are really valuable skills that you can bring to any kind of job in addition to helping you understand some of the basic principles that we use in research for psychology. So that's really one of my kind of two major goals for this course is to give you, yes, the understanding of statistical principles as they are applied in psychology, but also to give you some real life practical skills in using Google Sheets and using analysis, much like are used in the real world in a lot of different fields. Um, so like I said, we, I want to give you an overview of this course. Um, one thing with YouTube videos is that you can speed them up. If you click on the, there should be a, a little like kind of uh, settings in the bottom, the bo bottom right hand corner of the YouTube video. If you click on that, you can adjust the speed and speed them up. Some of the videos I talk somewhat slowly so that people that maybe are trying to digest some of the statistical principles can work through them slowly. But if you want to speed up certain sections, um, especially sections that you feel like you already understand, you can do that using the speed function, and then slow down or pause when you um, need a little bit, a uh, little bit more time to digest the content. Um, there's uh, a pre-course module that we're going to show you in a second. You need to complete all these ten steps before unlocking the rest of the course. Um, there's also um, four modules. Uh, um, that are associated with the course content and each model module has two quizzes. One is going to be over the specific book content for that section and the other is going to be on uh, applying statistics and using Google Sheets to perform the statistical procedures. We also have two projects. Each of these projects is um, 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 a self-contained unit. Um, the first one is going to be due at about halfway point in the semester for after two weeks of the of, of the course is completed and the second one is at the very end of semester. Um, these are the only two firm deadlines. The rest of the content for this course is due at the end of the course. So that really means a lot of the content and a lot of the uh, assessments are self-paced. That, um, that doesn't necessarily mean you should wait till the very end. I think if you find that you do if you do wait to the very end of this course, it's going to be a very difficult course to complete successfully because there's a lot of material. There's approximately 11 to 12 hours worth of video content as well as about 100 pages of pretty kind of dense um, textbook. Um, 100 pages may not necessarily seem like that much, but when you're talking about statistics and, and sort of kind of that sort of uh, intellectual density associated with that, um, it's quite a bit. So you want to Make sure that you're pacing yourself. Each chapter is about 20 pages, or each module is between 20 and 30 pages of, of reading. Um, and there's between kind of one and three hours of videos associated with each module. So let's go ahead, go ahead and go into the course and take a look at what's going on. I'm actually going to turn one thing on here. Um, this is just a little uh, thing that helps you see where the cursor is at. So this is a course home. Um, the very top, you'll see my name, uh, my contact email. Um, you can certainly use that contact email to reach me, but I really encourage you if you have uh, statistical questions or questions related to the content in the course to use the discussion boards, which are on the left side. If you click on discussions right here, which I'm circling. Um, discussions really allow you, uh, other other participants, other students to see the same, the um, your question and see my answer to it because oftentimes a lot of students have the similar question. Um, if you notice um, kind of problems with the course or or errors, um, certainly post those in the discussions and I'll try to. If there's a if there's just a technical issue, I'll try to answer those in the discussions and and resolve any of those issues through that kind of format. And you can um, if we click on the discussions, this general questions is a good place to 
answer uh, kind of general questions about due dates, assignments, or if you have some technical issues. Um, if they're technical issues with learn more broadly, you want to create a support ticket or go to the how to use learn um, uh, help page. All right, so we have a, the book. In this case, we're going to be using a, a free open source book, so it's free to use. Um, it's free to distribute to your friends and family. Um, so go ahead and you can access the book by clicking on this link. You can access the syllabus by clicking on this button. Um, I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm going to let's go into the pre-course module, which you'll see right here. Um, if you're watching this video, obviously you've probably gotten through a couple of the steps. Um, the first thing you need to do is complete the welcome survey, which is some basic information they like to collect about your kind of um, training this far and statistics and using computers and whatnot. Uh, there's a link to the course syllabus here. Then there's the introduction video, which you're obviously watching. And then after this, you're going to complete the syllabus quiz. And that's going to just kind of quiz you to make sure that you're up to speed with all the requirements of the course and there's no no questions of questions regarding that. After completing that, I want you to watch this 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 video about statistics. It does a great job of getting 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 at least me excited about statistics and a lot of the content covered in this video is going to be going to be what we're going to cover in this course but um, in a little bit more academic format. But this kind of gives you a big context about how statistics is used in the real world. Um, um, and so this video is about an hour long. After watching that video, you're going to create an introduction post about yourself, and you're going to get, and you're going to answer a few brief questions about what you thought was interesting about the previous video, and what's your interest in psychology generally. Um, then we're then you're going to complete the project data collection. After completing this data collection project. Um, it's going to take you a few minutes to complete a number of different surveys, but we're actually going to use this data uh, at, in the course to do the statistical reports. Then you can download the book here by clicking on this link. Um, I'll just go ahead and click on this. You can see that when you click on this link, it opens up this, um, this web page. There's a, a number of different options. This is where the, the book is actually hosted from. Um, and there's a download option right here. If you click on this, you'll be able to download the book. Um, if you notice any errors with the book, please let me know as the course is going on if a link doesn't work or if um, 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 there's a typo or something like that. I can go back and actually edit the book. I've made a number of different ed edits to the book as we'll go into uh, momentarily. Um, then I really think that, that this video here about um, Frustration statistics is not necessarily an easy topic to learn. Um, I don't expect anyone to be experts at this by the end of this course. It's really to give, to give you just a taste of um, statistics and data analysis. But with difficult subjects, I think Sal Khan, who's the, the founder of the Khan Academy, who makes a lot of tutorial videos uh, for academics, and um, we use, we're going to use some of these videos in this course, um, he has some great advice. It's a really short video about how to deal with frustration and, and my simple advice is if you're frustrated with the content it means that that's a sign that actually learning is going on it's never a linear easy kind of straight ahead path when you're learning something that's as difficult as statistics or or math more generally so watch that video um, then the last kind of step is getting set up with your Google account if you don't already have one you'll need a Google account um, to to access the Google Sheets, which which is uh, a big part of this course, um, and this video goes into a, gen a real brief general orientation to Google Sheets. You can also um, um, access a lot of tutorials online just through YouTube by typing in Google Sheets uh, beginner tutorial into YouTube search engine and and access a lot of that basic stuff if you feel like that's a really big struggle. But this course is designed for beginners and I go through a lot of the basic steps within this video. But if you need a little bit extra practice with that, go ahead and do that. Um, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. It's going to be a little bit challenging. So give yourself some time to do the assignments is my biggest um, advice as you start to enter this Google Sheets environment. There is an option for using this statistical package called JASP uh, with the second um, statistical report. Um, there's some videos on how to use JASP as well. 
and that's a little bit more advanced and um, you'll get extra credit if you do this um, but it's definitely not required everything what we're going to be doing for this course is really going to be in Google Sheets so once you complete these 10 steps the rest of the course and the rest of the modules will be available to you each module is self-contained so if you click on a module here you're going to have a brief overview of the module and I'll tell you about how much content at the at the end of the overview, there will be 18 videos in this first module, 3.2 hours of content. Um, there's no, the, the specific learning objectives. Read through these. Um, you may not necessarily understand all the terms associated with it, but it gives you a general description. After you, you start reading and getting into the textbook, you may want to come back to these and, and make sure you're, you're understanding each one of these learning objectives. Then there's two quizzes associated with each module, as I mentioned earlier. There's a book content quiz, which is multiple choice, that just covers kind of the theoretical aspects of the book content. And then there's a Google Sheets quiz, which uh, entails uh, specific uh, implementation of the statistical procedures in Google Sheets. If you're confused on any of these mod, uh, anything that you're encountering, click on this um, uh, link right here. It'll take you to the discussion forums. And you can ask questions by creating a thread here. And hopefully other students and I will chime in and help you out. Um, the book readings are lo located here. Once you download the book once, um, you can just access it through the PDF. Um, it's a PDF format, so you're going to want to download Adobe Acrobat if you haven't already. Most computers have that. Um, and there's some links contained within the syllabus as well as the introdu pre-course introduction module as well. Then after that, you have the book videos. These are videos that are provided by the, the, the authors, the, the authors of the book. Um, they go through and explain the, the content of the book. Um, and then after the content videos is Google Sheets videos. And these are videos that I've created about how to, to perform statistical operations in Google Sheets. Um, so as, I, as you can see, there's a lot of videos associated with this first section. Um, so just make sure you're kind of getting an overview of how much work you're going to have to do. I really expect about two to three hours of work each day um, with this material uh, in order to really kind of get mastery with the course. So we're going to go back to the course home. Um, so there's four modules, as I mentioned earlier. The first module is Introduction to Data. It's just kind of basic introduction to data analysis using Google Sheets, some principles for summarizing data and working with data. The second module, which is Foundations for Inference, this is probably the most theoretical and abstract and difficult chapter uh, or module to that we're going to go over. Um, this first, going back to this first module, this module probably has probably the most amount of content in it, and this one is probably the most abstract and 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 uh, people not if you're not familiar with anything to do with statistics, you might find this as the most challenging module. After you complete those two modules, we really get into modules three and four, which are more the kind of statistical uh, analysis modules. Uh, so the third module is inference with numerical data, and the fourth module is introduction to linear regression, two po very popular ways of analyzing data and very frequent ways of analyzing data. Um, and really, you can think about these two modules as making decisions with data, how to how to make inferences about that data is really uh, another way of just saying making decisions. Um, after each, after the first two modules, you have your first project that's just exploring data. That's that statistical report. If you click on this project, you can see there's a lot of details on how to complete this project as well as some instructional videos on how to do that as well. Um, we'll kind of back out of that. And then there's a second statistical project called Statistical Inference. So you're going to want to make sure you watch all the videos and read through all the points about how to complete those projects uh, successfully in order to do that. In the past, I really haven't had a problem with people doing well on these projects. You know, I've, I've created a lot of material to make sure that it's fairly straightforward um, on how to do that. There's also this extra module for inference for categorical data. There's no assignments associated with this module. This is really if you have a specific research question for for major, mainly the second project, you may I may ask you to take a look at this chapter and this and this module here and the information in it in order to uh, answer that question, answer your the, your research question that you come up with. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the syllabus. I've obviously covered a lot of what um, um, 
the general overview of kind of the course in UNM LERM, which is also a little bit redundant with what's on the syllabus. Syllabus gives you a description, the course objectives, um, kind of overlays the course in terms of the different modules and how they relate to different chapters in the book. Um, it tells you, gives you some, some additional tips on how to do well in this course, as well as how to kind of approach each module. And my general recommendation is to start by reading the book first, reading the chapters, and then as you, when you see either one of these icons, you can click on these icons in the book and they'll link directly to the videos um, that are associated with that content. So when you encounter one of these videos, I'd say click on one, the video then, watch the video because it'll kind of review and preview some of the content that you're going to be reading. And that just kind of builds a redundancy um, and through kind of multiple uh, 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 kind of styles or of learning, with sort of redundancy and styles of learning that will help you kind of succeed in kind of grasping the content, especially as the content becomes a little bit more abstract and theoretical. After you've watched all the videos and read the book, I would suggest starting with the book quiz first, getting that theoretical content down, and then taking the Google Sheets quiz. Now, the biggest thing with the quizzes is my, is, is you get an, an unlimited amounts of attempts to complete each quiz. That means you can take it over and over and over. And I take your highest score. So you can take it over and, and get low score sometimes and, and a little bit higher the next time. And I'll always take that highest score in, in, in terms of the calculation. You probably won't get a high score your first attempt. Um, but just keep trying, keep trying. The biggest thing is, though, you'll find out is that the questions do not repeat themselves or repeat themselves very infrequently. So you won't get the same questions from from each repeat. That'll make that'll make sure that you have to learn the content and how to uh, perform the procedures, and you just can't um, guess and get the answers right. So after you complete the book quizzes, go to the Google Sheets quiz. Um, and I suggest you know if you're struggling. And, you know, let's say you got fours and fives. Usually the, all, almost all the quizzes are out of ten points. And you've, you're just kind of stuck there at fours and fives. Just move on. You know, the while the content builds in this course, don't get hung up. Don't spend a whole week on one on or a whole two weeks on one quiz and really get behind in the course. You might find that the, the later material actually comes easier in, in some ways. Um, um, so... Um, yeah, and then ask any kind of questions you have related to the content in those discussion forums. The discussion forums are not to be used to answer specific questions from the quizzes, meaning that you can't ask for the answers uh, for the quizzes in the discussion forums. Obviously, that goes without saying, but you, you know, if it's how to do the do a specific question, do ask that. Um, course requirements and, and grades. There's a lot of detail about how grading for this course goes. Um, um, there are um, a number of different options um, for extra credit. So the extra credit is really designed to be a boost for your grade. You're going to, want to look at these. Um, I, you know, the, the, I kind of take the philosophy that there's many paths to getting a good grade in this course. You can do get a good grade by doing okay on the quizzes and doing really well on the um, the the project the stats reports, or you can do the opposite. Um, or you can do okay on both of those and complete all the extra credit and get a good grade this course. So I really take the, the, the kind of philosophy that there's multiple paths to doing well with this course and I try to encourage that. The due dates are listed as well. A bunch of other information about the grading scale. Um, basically, the, 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 the grades are com composed of the pre-course module task, that's 10% of your grade. The quizzes account for 40% for, for of your grade, and the stats projects for 50% of your grade. The grades are updated um, kind of in UNM and Learn. It's not based strictly on the points. There's a weighting scale associated with the different sections. So um, just make sure you kind of read through this if you're interested in calculating your grade. Um, additionally, there's additional information about um, setting up uh, your accounts, the techno technologies, and the accessibility issues with accessing this course. Um, let's see here. I think that's about all I want to cover from the syllabus. We're already about 20 minutes into this video. 
And I want you to get started with uh, the actual course. I do want to show you a few things with this textbook, so I'm going to go ahead and click the down download here. Um, it'll take a few seconds to download. Um, and then once it's download, I want you, I want, I'm going to open up the textbook. So uh, when, once it's open, you can see there's a table of contents. You can click on each one of these sections to take you right to that section. You can also open up in Adobe Acrobat uh, the bookmark, bookmark section in this toolbar here, and it has um, kind of each section laid out. As I mentioned earlier, there are these little video icons. If you click on it, the video icon, it'll take you to YouTube where that this video is hosted. Um, let's go back to that. There's also these green, where are they at? There's one. This is a Google Sheets video. So this is going to go over a video I created and the link to that video right here um, for uh, Google Sheets. If you click on that, it takes you right to... In this video, we'll be going over observation earlier, variable, settings, variables and data matrices in here. Google Sheets. I suggest... This, uh, uh, I want to take the, the moment to, speed it up a little to bit, um, reiterate faster, that in the... You get, in the get text, get stuck uh, on some of the information. as you read through it. All right, so I'm going to pause that. Let's go back to the book. Um, there are exercises in the, at the end of each chapter, and the answers to the odd, odd, um, odd questions are included in the back of the book. I suggest going through those as a bit of practice, especially if you're struggling and taking a look at the answers. Um, and I, again, as I mentioned earlier, don't expect any of this stuff to come. Uh, intuitively overnight. Um, um, so I think I've gone over basically everything I want to go over in this video. Obviously there's a lot more in both the syllabus and in each one of these modules. I encourage you to jump into the discussions and start <clears throat> asking questions there as you get going. Um, and um, yeah, go from there. Let me see. Let me go back to the title slide and see if there's anything else I want to cover. Um, don't procrastinate. You're going to have find yourself in, um, in a very uh, difficult state if you do procrastinate. Really count on spending two to three hours a day on this course material. All right, that's it for this video. Um, look forward to uh, showing you more um, in future videos.